And we're back. Today's comment is by Atomic Player 91, and his comment is in Spanish, and I cannot read that. So thanks to Google Translate, it says, Master, how can I make it so when the combat begins, an assistant or support selector appears, like in Famicom Fighters? I think it would be a great tutorial, since I have never seen one like that on YouTube. Well, my good man, here we are. Um, today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a, as he requested, a uh, striker selector. Um, so first off, these are my resources. I use Kung Fu Man as my you know base template for every video I do, majority of the time. So I figured the perfect two people would be Suave Dude and Kung Fu Girl. So these are just some sprites from their characters, and I, you know, chopped them up, drew a little up and down arrow thing, and you know, grayscale a little bit, so you can see a selector. This way is a visual selector. In Famicom Fighter, you have three different character icons at the top of the screen, and that's how you select your um, your striker. Now, uh, before I show the coding part of this, this is not a complete code. I didn't do it completely all the way through because I I couldn't figure it out honestly but um, it, it does work and uh, the only thing is it requires you to pick a different striker every round so if you wanted like Kung Fu Girl for round one but you want Suave Dude for round two you can do that um, I, I could not figure out how to make that same striker persistent between rounds there's a way to do it I, I just I couldn't figure it out in Eichmann Go there is but in Mugen I can't figure it out so, you get your resources, your sprites, right? You chop it up, yeah, it's a fighter factory. We got Kung Fu Man here. Uh, to start off, we are going to add a few commands to Kung Fu Man. Those commands being here. I added the up, down, uh, left, right command. And the difference from these versus these, these are hold commands. As long as you're holding the button, it's going to keep um, reading it is held down so it'll always be active these are single input commands so when you touch it it'll only add one and nothing more whereas if you touch these it'll keep adding consistently okay now going to the states you're gonna copy state 5900 this is what 5900 looks like it's the initialized state you could find this in the common one dot cns file in the data folder the only thing I'm adding is this helper code here. So the helper will spawn at the beginning, which is why the initialize state is what we need. Uh, if the helper does not exist, not time meaning right away, and if it's not the computer, not AI level. Uh, the reason why is the computer will never randomly pick um, a striker. So I disabled that for the computer. And the, I'll, I'll set it somewhere else so they have a striker, but that's what I'm doing. And then um, the only thing particularly here is because the font's only facing one way, I have this code here for facing. Because if you don't put this here, the image will display reversed. Kind of like... I don't have a reference. But yeah. So all this is straightforward. And I'm using post type back, so um, it spawns behind the player. Instead of to any particular part on the screen, it'll spawn behind him at a particular point on both sides when flipped. Okay, so now we're going to go to helper number 10,000. In helper 10,000, we have no shadow and an intro code for the assert special. This is so the game knows that this helper isn't an, an intro helper. So it will give it a little more time to finish doing what it's doing before it skips to the round one fight. Um, I have a little sound effect here when you press up or down and you have to use root uh, comma command you can also use parent but root is the main player of the the person you're playing as so the roots the better one to use so if you press up or down as the player this helper is gonna play this sound and then I also have this other sound for ABC XYZ so this is a confirmation sound after you pick your striker it's gonna play this sound I have a change anim code based on the variable and then it'll change and this is to stop a loop so you're going to change to anim 10,010 if your animation is not already 10,010 
if I don't have this line of code, the animation will play the first frame over and over and over. So if you wanted to do a full animation, you cannot. You need this code to make it work, uh, to make the animation play properly. And same for this. I have 10 and negative 10. You could use 1, negative 1, or whatever number you feel like. I'm using this for the demonstration. And then I have a, a parent var set code. Ignore the part that says add, because I, I did use add originally, but I use var set for this. So when you press up, it's going to set variable 50 to 10. When you press down, it'll set variable 50 to negative 10. Alternatively, if you want your menu to go left to right instead of up and down, you would use the the new commands you made, you would use the left and right commands of that. So that could work too. And then I have the helper destroying itself after 500 ticks. This way, it's not indefinitely left on the intro of the character. After 500 ticks, helper goes away and the character will continue playing. Now, that being said, I'm going to the intro state here. Ignore all this. This is for a future dialogue tutorial. Um, yeah, right here. So for the intro state, I have it set to change him to stand, which usually ends the intro. I have it go to stand when the helper does not exist. So by putting the helper summon code in 5900, I'm having this helper spawn r instantly, like right away. And that prevents the intro from skipping to avoid you know the whole selection and everything. So this way, helper's active right away, player does the intro, player waits for the helper to die, then round one fight. Uh, I don't think I have anything here. No, I just have this display the clipboard code so I can see the, uh, the values. And then, of course, you have to... Um, oh, so you have to code your command for your striker. In this case, I just use this very simple command. Trigger all is command Z, and the trigger one is var1, which is a combo uh, trigger for Kung Fu Man. That's all you have to use. You can use CTRL, and then we're going to state 4000. State 4000. This is the striker summon code now, right? Uh, the actual striker summon code, not the selector. Kung Fu Man's going to this state. He's going to do a bow. He's not in attack, so his move type is I. And then I have two uh, helpers here. If the helper, the var 50 is negative 10, suave dude. If var 50 is 10, kung fu girl. Each have their own number. I never code with numbers like this. I hate coding above 10,000. It seems crazy to me, but I did it just for the sake of this demonstration. And it kind of like, ugh, it got to me a little bit. Uh, oh, and yeah, so you, you code the helpers here based on the triggers. That's what's going to happen. And then you code the helpers. So in this case, Suave Dude comes running out. Uh, when he gets close to P2, their body position, he's going to change to attack. He does his attack stuff. Uh, in this case, I have him doing a front flip kick. And then he lands. And then he jumps off screen with the Vel set there. I did not code this. I did this a very lazy man way for this demonstration, but you will need a hit override and the hit override will lead to that striker being hit. And the striker is going to get hit, they're going to fall back and they hit the ground and then that's however you want to code it. You can have them hit the ground, get back up, run off or jump off or, or just hit the ground and die. It's totally up to you. I did not code that for this tutorial. I'm only doing them the selector and them running into attack and then running away. And then I have Kung Fu Girl, pretty much copy paste of Suave Dude. You can see literally the copy and paste. Um, attack when she's close to P2. The attack state for the helper. And then the helper running away. Now I'm going to show you how it looks. And oops, I can only one, one instance of Mugen at a time. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. And now I can load Eichmann Go. So as you can see, there's the indicator. I press up. It's already up. I press down. It goes. So remember, as my 500 takes right out. So remember, as I uh, put the debug on, 
I have it set to 10 by default. Um, as you press up and down, the var parent var set is going to change variable 50 to 10 or negative 10. Notice the bottom left there. And that tells it which character to pick. So now we'll go with um, Kung Fu Girl. You're going to hit a chime. There's no way to do it so it's a proper full uh, indicator because once you push a button, it skips the intro and it'll kill off anything that needs to be killed off. You, There are ways to preserve helpers, but it will it still won't play a proper effect. So it's just how it is. Um, okay, so now I'm going to strike her, I think. Let's see. Nope. Haha, <laughs> you probably saw that in the other tutorial. Call it the striker. There you go, Kung Fu Girl. That's pretty cool, huh? Hey, hey. Let's see you, Suave Dude. Strike a button. I could do this multiple because I didn't limit it, so it could just do that over and over. And yeah, that's honestly all there is to it. You make your sprites for your selector, however you want it to be. You make your single input commands, which I have here. You make your little var you make you copy fifty nine hundred from your common one that's CNS. If you do not have that because you're using Ipen Go, um, you could just copy what you see on screen. Particularly this helper code. So you have your striker selector code. Then you have your striker selector helper state. This is where the helper reads the player's inputs up, down, A, B, C, X, Y, Z. And it sets a variable which tells you which helper. And then you have a, a regular state uh, that you know sends the character, Kung Fu Man in this case, to a helper summon state. In the helper summon state, he'll have two helper codes or however many you want um, per whatever value. So if you wanted to make Marvel versus, Marvel versus Capcom style strikers where it's like 20 strikers and you get to pick like one or two of them, like this is what you would do essentially. This is a more tame version of that instead of having 50 strikers. But yes, that is all there is to it. Um, this character will be in the description. I opened up a... Uh, uh, buy me a coffee page if anyone's interested in buy me a coffee. I'll, I'll greatly appreciate it um, And you know like comment subscribe Comment things you want to see uh, I do have something I'm, I have in the works that I just haven't posted but um, yeah Thanks for watching